refuse everywhere. Refuse has become a major problem, also in the concrete industry. In the German Federal Republic, about 50 million cubic meters of concrete are produced annually. Of these, a million cubic meters are left as residual or surplus concrete. It's a lot all right, and it certainly constitutes an environmental problem. A problem to which the Stetter Company, a member of the Schwing Group, has devoted itself since as early as 1975. Our recycling plants are the result of extensive experience with concrete. Technically mature and well proven in practice, our plants are now universally established throughout the industry. The method is highly effective. Using the reverse flow principle, the gravel and sand are separated from the slurry in a slowly rotating drum. What remains is a gravel mix which is suitable for use as a concrete aggregate and a fine slurry which can be reused in concrete manufacture. The solids contained in the water are reduced to a minimum. The water contains nothing but the finest sand and cement. Particles down to less than 0.2 millimeters are separated even during high volume input. Stetter recycling plants are both economical and profitable thanks to their extremely low operating costs. The recovery of raw materials eliminates costs for dumping, canalization, loading, and transport. Our system for separating surplus concrete incorporates a washing drum. This washing method is virtually wear free. Transverse washing tools inside the drum break up the granulate. The rotation of the drum then transports the broken granulate between a system of spirals towards the discharge side. The drum cannot jam. Simultaneously, fresh water is introduced from the opposite direction. It mixes with the suspended cement and fine sands and flows out through the drum overflow. This reverse flow technique simply but effectively separates the gravel mix from the water with its suspended cement and fine materials. A few details. The recycling plants are constructed in such a way that every driver of a truck mixer, concrete pump or bulldozer can easily learn to handle them. The truck mixer is filled via this boom. The water comes directly from the agitation basin. It's automatically metered. The driver of this concrete pump cleans his own vehicle. The residual and surplus concrete falls into the skip. This is tilted hydraulically and empties the material into the feed hopper. Simple but effective. Developed by Stetter. There are no bottlenecks even during periods of peak activity. Independent of the size of the plant, the 3.2 meter wide rectangular feed hopper fitted to each plant is accessible by three vehicles simultaneously and is suitable for any form of loading. A ring flushing system ensures that the hopper is thoroughly cleaned. Two powerful vibrators ensure efficient material transport. They switch off automatically as soon as the amount of solid matter in the drum rises to two cubic meters. An external warning light signals that this is the case. As soon as the amount of has dropped to below two cubic meters, the vibrators switch on again automatically. This safety device only comes into action when surplus concrete exceeding the amount of 3 cubic meters is poured in faster than the drum's processing speed. The washing drum. Two reliable rubber friction wheel units keep operating noise to a minimum. Another contribution towards environmental protection. This hatch gives access to the interior of the drum. The water can be drained off through this plug if the plant is to be taken out of operation for some time. The separated material is transported via a vibrating chute and discharged direct into a gravel mix receptacle. The chute is only slightly inclined so that a relatively large cone-shaped pile of gravel is formed. A plastic sieve drains the gravel mix, reducing the water content to a minimum. For operation during sub-zero temperatures, Stetter supplies an optional thermostat-controlled heater. 
And finally, this flash-proof control box contains both the high and low voltage systems. Well-arranged circuit modules make the controls easy to handle. All these details add up to an efficient recycling plant. Stetter supplies the plant in two sizes. The RA12 with a washing capacity for normal concrete of 12 cubic meters an hour for normal mortar of 5 cubic meters an hour. The RA20 with a washing capacity for normal concrete of 20 cubic meters an hour and for normal mortar of 8 cubic meters an hour. Furthermore, each plant can be installed in a variety of ways to suit your individual needs. As standard model. As standard model with hydraulic skip. Semi sunk. Or completely underground with drive over facility. The advantages of the Stetter surplus concrete recycling plants can be summed up as follows. Short turnaround times for vehicles, less wear and tear, low noise level, simple controls, low operating costs and variable installation options. All this calls for modern technology and robust construction, both of which are hallmarks of the Stetter plants. We are also proud to have made, with our recycling plants, an important contribution to environmental protection. One thing is clear, recycling with subsequent reuse of materials is an essential part of the whole cycle of concrete manufacture. The residual and surplus concrete is delivered to the recycling plant. Our washing drum separates the concrete into gravel mix and slurry. The gravel mix can be reused as aggregate in the manufacture of concrete. From the agitation basin, which we equip with optimized agitators and submerged pumps, the fine slurry is returned to the mixing plant for reuse in concrete manufacture. A non-return valve ensures that efficiency is not impaired even when a long slurry pipe is necessary. The surplus concrete fine slurry is weighed. The reuse of surplus concrete fine slurry, also for washing the vehicle drums by the way, saves the use of mains water and thus cuts costs. In the example shown in our film, the water for separating the surplus concrete comes straight from the clear water basin. This acts as a collector for surface water and water from the vehicle washing facility, which has previously been cleaned in an oil and petrol trap. The contents of the clear water basin can be replenished with mains water as needed. The cycle is complete. We have seen quite clearly that the Stetter washing drum saves costs and is at the same time ecologically benign. And moreover, clean premises and clean vehicles are an important contribution to the company image. In combination with the name Stetter, recycling means optimum commercial efficiency and genuine environmental protection. Stetter, the right partner for the recycling of unset concrete. <laughs>